Now we're going to apply the Denton colors and we're going to apply the first two coats of Denton up to the line closest to the occlusal table. So covering over, we're now overlapping that transition area where we made our first three coats of enamel. And we're going to go circumferentially around the restoration up to that line. Again, we're going to do this with the first two coats of Denton. After we put the first two coats on, then our third, fourth, and fifth coat of Denton will go up to the line closest to the margin. So we're going to stay out of that transition zone. And we're going to just bring the liquid to that lower line. And we're going to finish up with our last three coats in this area. So in the end, we actually end up with five coats everywhere. Five coats below the lowest line, five coats in the transition area. That combination will be three coats enamel and two coats denton in the transition area, and then five coats enamel only in the above the, the highest line closest to the occlusal. The last application is three coats around the axial walls inside the restoration. Uh, don't place any on the occlusal itself and if you get a little bit puddling try to brush that out so it doesn't puddle and saturate and we'll make three passes on the internal aspect of the restoration. The next application is we're going to add some Denton color to the pits and fissures of the restoration and bring some of that body color up. In this particular case, I use either an A4 or a B4. And we want to use a much stronger liquid here, much stronger color here than, than let's say an A2 or an A3 so that we get some concentration of color. And we apply the liquid only in the areas of the pits and fissures with one, not more than two coats. We use a very high concentration of color because we, we want to be able to achieve the effect that we're looking for in only one or two applications. If we used a color, a lighter color, similar to the body color we're trying to achieve, then we'd need four or five coats, in which case we run the risk of the liquid spreading further than the pits and fissures and actually affecting the triangular ridges and other occlusal anatomy.